Hello, I'm Stumpy the Squirrel. Let's make a game with RPG in a box. In this tutorial, we'll create an idle animation for me in the voxel editor. Let's get started. Start up RPG in a box and open me in the voxel editor. The animation toolbar is located along the bottom of the editor. It's simple to create an idle animation using only two frames. Let's start by copying the current frame. Click the duplicate frame button, or press Ctrl D. As you can see, there are now two frames, with the new one currently displayed. Switch to the Select Voxels tool, or press F6. We're going to put bends into my legs, so first drag and select from around the middle of my legs upwards. Now either hold control and drag, or use the button panel in the corner to move the selection down by one voxel. Press escape or click somewhere outside the model to deselect all voxels. Select one of my knees, then hold shift and select the other knee. Using the same method as before, move my knees outward by one voxel, then deselect them. Let's bend my arms in a similar fashion. For each arm, select the two center voxels and move them away from my body. Press escape to deselect all voxels when you're done editing. Clicking the blue arrows on the animation toolbar will navigate through the frames of your model. You can also press Ctrl plus the left or right arrow key. Now that we're done editing, let's tell the editor we want these frames to be my idle animation. Click the Add Animation button on the toolbar. Now click the magnifying glass to select from a list of predefined animation names. These are special animations that are tied to certain events. For example, a character's idle animation automatically plays when they're standing still. Ensure idle is selected, then click OK. As configured, the animation will start on frame 1 and end on frame 2. Since the type is loop, the animation will go back to frame 1 and repeat. This is precisely what we want. However, let's slow me down a bit by decreasing the speed to 2 frames per second. Click OK to finish defining the animation. If you need to adjust any settings for an animation, you can do so from the Model Properties panel on the left. Save your model, then click the play button on the toolbar to test out the animation. Congratulations, your Stumpy now has an idle animation. Quite simple, isn't it? Thank you so much for watching, my dear friend. You are a lovely and wonderful person. Until we meet again.